Now Provost Miller will present a member of the faculty with the Lindbach Award for Distinguished Teaching. Today we celebrate the scholastic achievements of our graduates. This occasion also provides an opportunity to recognize excellence in teaching. I would like to call upon Dr. Grace Farber, Director of our General Education Program and Assistant Professor of Biological Science to join me at the podium as this year's recipient of the Limbach Award. Dr. Farber. The Lindbach Foundation sponsors an annual faculty award for distinguished teaching. Faculty members considered for the award are nominated by students, and the nominations are reviewed by a committee of both students and faculty. Nomination for this award by students is a tribute to the professionalism, knowledge, enthusiasm, and teaching skills of the faculty nominees, as well as to the mutual respect that exists between the students and the faculty. Dr. Farber is a wonderful representative of our faculty, teachers who are committed to outstanding teaching, scholarship, research, and service to our university and its students. Dr. Farber has a passion and talent for education. Her enthusiasm and fun nature are contagious and undoubtedly help students see the human face of science. Her students appreciate both her passion for what she teaches and her high expectations for their learning. In addition, as one student puts it, and I quote, I have never seen someone who legitimately cares about the students as much as she does. Dr. Farber, it is my pleasure to present you with the Limbach Award. I can think of nothing more gratifying for a teacher than to have her endeavors recognized and acclaimed by her students and colleagues. Congratulations on this well-deserved honor and I invite you to say a few words to all of us. Congratulations. Thank you, Peter. Oh, I didn't know there was gonna be a student quote, so it helped me a little. Now, you are the largest class I have ever spoken in front of, and uh, I unfortunately cannot talk to you today about cellular and molecular biology, which I would love to do, but um, I can tell you that my sympathetic nervous system is activated. <laughs> I love that I can say that here, and you all know what I'm talking about. In all seriousness, I want to start by thanking the committee that bestowed this honor upon me. I truly appreciate it. I also want to thank the faculty and staff that I work with. You are some of the smartest and most wonderful individuals, and you make coming to work a pleasure. But, uh, but most of all, I want to thank you guys. I've taught at four universities, and you are by far the best students any professor could ask for. It's true. <laughs> um, to start with, you want to learn about science. That's a huge plus for me. So. Uh, but besides that, you really do come with your positive energy and your commitment, and I believe that you are the heart of this institution, and so you make me excited to come to work each and every day. So thank you. So today, um, I'm going to share with you a couple of tips that I truly believe are going to help you with your future career. Uh, the first, when you're presented with an obstacle, whether it be a problem or even an individual, I want you to be part of the solution. You're gonna need to work with new people, you're gonna need to innovate. But if you believe that you can, you will do it. One of my favorite role models, Tina Fey, says, whatever the problem, be part of the solution. Don't just sit around raising questions and pointing out obstacles. We've all worked with that person. That person is a drag. I agree, don't be a drag. Now for my second tip, I'll share a short story from my own college days. It was my first semester of my freshman year, and I was having just a terrible day, and I think some of you can relate. It was a day where nothing was going right, and in problems that now seem really trivial, they were just compounding together. And uh, I think if one more thing went wrong, I might have cried right in the middle of class. But then something pretty amazing happened. Uh, it was English class, 
we were analyzing the Eight Mile Eminem song. I don't know if you remember that. But my English professor must have seen the state I was in because he asked me to stay after class. Grace, are you all right? I replied to him honestly, I'm actually having a really tough time and I'm even considering transferring to another university. Without any pressure or judgment, he simply replied, I'm really sorry to hear that. If you need a recommendation letter, you let me know. I'd be happy to write you one. It was tremendous what that small act of kindness did for me in that moment. I went from feeling pretty hopeless to feeling that someone respected me and was genuinely concerned about me. He even offered me a recommendation without me asking. He probably doesn't even know what, um, what an effect that moment had. And so I want us to remember what an impact we have on one another every day. And I charge you, be kind to one another, treat others with respect, and put in just that little bit of effort whenever you can to help another. It's sometimes the smallest things that we do that make the largest impact. So everyone here knows how smart and motivated and prepared you are. So I'm just giving you this one final assignment. Be a leader in everything that you do and treat others with empathy and compassion every day. And with your powers combined, you will be unstoppable. Again, thank you for this honor and congratulations to the class of 2016. Thank you, Dr. Farber. I believe that your words of wisdom about leadership will likely be, remember, be remembered by this class for a long time.